You know, I feel like this should be an old settlement of sorts. Just some of the sizes of the trees and the... <coughs> variety of the trees. Just seems like this would definitely be an old settlement. And there's depressions in the ground and stuff. So you never know. There could have been a house here at one time or uh, something like that. Who knows, there could be a well near. Um, but I've always wondered about this location. I love finding old settlements, even if all that's left is like an old well or something. Um, it's still kind of cool. Like here's some rock. So I bet this was a settlement. And right up here may have been part of it. I bet you it was. These stones. Wow, I'm just tripping over everything. <laughs> right here. Yep. I'll bet those were used as um, part of what, what was it used to be here. It would be nice to find an old well. Just pretty neat when I do find them. Because that's pretty much all that's left. It's like old, old glass there. I don't know if it's how new it is. But yeah, I would say at some point in time, this was probably a little pioneer settlement. And there's probably a well somewhere around here. Just don't know where. Oh well. <laughs> but it's kind of neat. I just love areas like this. Imagine what it looked like. Well, howdy folks. Sean here from Hiking with Sean on YouTube. And today I'm going down this old forest road into an area that is rather abnormally uh, spiritual maybe? I don't know, not spiritual. Abnormally uh, positioned. <laughs> And I'm going to Max Creek, which is where the uh, Max Creek Vortex is supposed to be. Uh, been here before, haven't been here in a long time. So I thought, you know, I got a few hours to spare. I thought, I'll go hike Max Creek. Um, first time I came here ever, saw a bobcat within five feet from me. Um, that was probably the weirdest thing that happened. And, uh, you know, it when it seen me, it ran, so nothing nothing really happened after that. But um, I figure I'd just mention that, you know, because everyone's wondering if weird stuff happens at Max Creek. And I've heard, I've seen all sorts of stories. Um, I don't know how true they are. I can't, I don't want to, I don't want to just automatically call people a liar. I know one thing, though, there's some, ooh, major potholes on this road so maybe that's how the vortex gets you through the potholes <laughs> but uh yeah so that's where i'm going at the end of this road just a little parking area it's off of taylor ridge road and a little parking area i doubt anyone would be here but me it's kind of hot uh well 79 
but you know the force full of spider webs and so on and so forth so i just don't think oh look at that someone's here i'm shocked max creek is pretty cool um i think just because it's location and you know there's old wagon roads and like this at one time was an old wagon road and it's just 1738 I'm sure that's an old designation for uh, the trail trail number but I'm gonna try to film a little better while I'm out here more uh, standing still and just you know slower movements um, to try to make the uh, video a little better for you all watching it at home so it's not all really shaky so that's my goal and here's the well right off the trail really yep that's pretty cool nice big spider web over the well but here it is kind of cool oh yeah bottles and all sorts of debris in there but there you are old well and i mean it's right there's the trail right there so it's it's right here boy hate for someone to step into that you know that's why i think these things should be flagged some people disagree i don't i don't i guess i just care about safety more i don't know um, i don't think it's litter when you flag something like this um people's argued with me about it but i just don't know how to see see it their way <laughs> um but yep there's there's the old well so that's pretty cool I, I didn't know that was there before so i just looked at the area and thought old settlement definitely and lo and behold there's a well so that's pretty neat so that's kind of funny <laughs> just a just kind of a log laying there and i was getting the spider webs off me and happen to notice that being there but there's a fork right here it's a trail off that way and then there's the trail I just came down and gonna go that way Ugh. this has been a very webby spider webby hike um, I stopped here to pull the spider webs off me and just take a little break Talk about a monster uproot. Wow. Man, can you imagine hiking and a, and a you're you're in here in a in a windstorm for some reason and and you see something like that? Oh man. That'd be enough to <laughs> scare someone out of the forest. <laughs> I've seen it before on May eighth when we had a super derecho. But uh that's a that's a pretty big tree pretty good sized tree unfortunately and here's max creek pretty creek all sorts of little boulders um, i can tell a storm or something's come through because all that rubbish over there wasn't that wasn't there the last time i was here so storms come through and that or it flooded and washed up all that or something but I, I love all the little boulders and stuff in the creek i think that's really cool and uh it's just a really neat creek uh, especially in, in the winter when there's a little bit of ice and stuff it's a really pretty area really deep right there too um, I don't know about swimming. I'm not a swimmer, so I don't know how deep it is. Um, couldn't tell you. 
I'm sure there's people that come out here and swim though. But Max Creek is a cool place. And some people think it's haunted or there's a vortex out here or whatever. Um, and maybe there is unexplained stuff. I don't know, it's never really happened to me. I came down here and my ears popped and I noticed it, noticed that. But you know, I'm human, my ears pop. <laughs> Um, and then the, the bobcat was interesting, but bobcats are around here, so I've been seeing them more often. Um, had one hissing at me the other day. Weird looking bugs. Little bee. Little fish swimming around in there. It's pretty neat. When there's a little bit more rain more water on the creek. It's a pretty creek. Still a pretty creek anyway. River River Trail continues this way, which I'll go here shortly. So when you come off the trail to the Max Creek part portion, you'll either come off over here or you'll come off right here. There's a River River Trail blaze. Um, Admire the cool creek, walk around if you want, so on and so forth. But right up here is the trail across the creek, just so you know. So, because the blaze heart is hard to see in the summer, but in the fall it should be fairly easy. But just in case you wanted to know, there it is. So for uh, entertainment value, as well as taking a break from the spider webs hitting my face, <laughs> I am going to follow the creek because it follows the trail, the loop trail for quite some time like right next to it. So I'm just gonna take the creek and walk a creek. More coolness by the creek. It's like, I, this is why I like uh, hiking creeks. I just think they're a whole lot cooler looking. Heard some voices, so there's some folks out here somewhere. Alrighty folks. Got some nice bluffage. More, more cool creek. Just ran into some very nice horseback riders visiting the area. Okay, try to cross the creek without getting wet. We're getting the camera soaked. There we go. And they're just having a good time like me. All right, folks. Really nice bluffage over here. Really cool, cool part of the creek. Yeah, that's really cool. Alrighty. Pretty cool looking area. Thought I'd showcase it. I like the uh, way the rock formations are on the side of the creek. I think that's cool. Alrighty. I think I'm in an area where the horse riders did not go. Because <laughs> I started getting covered up with quite a bit of spider webs. Get the spider webs off my camera. Alrighty folks, made it back to the Hiking with Sean mobile. <laughs> um, All together I went about, let's see what the watch says, five miles, uh, climbed six floors, 
about 10,000 steps. So not, not a whole lot of floors, really. Um, if you turned around and went the other way, it probably would. Like if you got down there and then came back the way you came, it, the way I did it, because there's quite a bit of switchbacks. But uh, really webby, really, a lot of spider webs. Uh, more spider webs on this trail than any of them all this year. Uh, it was kind of, it's kind of miserable <laughs> at, at, at points, um, at parts of it. It was kind of hard to bear, but I did it and I keep doing it because I want to keep hiking in the summer and just deal with it. <laughs> so that's what I did. I mean, they're, they're not biting me or nothing. These spiders don't bite. It's just annoying when the webs get in your face. But a lot of spider webs, a lot of gnats. Um, killed quite a few horse flies and now I'm gonna enjoy some air conditioner and probably go somewhere else and hike so thanks for watching this video if you like it hit that like button share this video leave a comment down below tell me what you thought um, if you're not a subscriber please subscribe today it's free it really helps out when you all do that and you can also check me out on Facebook Twitter and Instagram and I have my own website, and all that is linked down in the description below. So thanks again for watching another episode of Hiking with Sean. And until next time, I'll see you on the trail. Now I need to uh, get a towel and wipe all this off my mess off my face. Unfortunately, I can't get my face off, you know, so it's still kind of messy.